Hey folks, welcome back to eMedia Coach. I'm going to show you how to create social sharing icons using social media icons like this onto your WordPress website, whether it be social sharing for your business website or your product pages as well. I'm going to show you all of that. Go and get some viral marketing started. It's great, it's free, and here's how to get sharing. All right, so the first thing to do when you're in your dashboard is to go down to plugins and let's add a new WordPress plugin. We're going to add a plugin called Sassy Share. So let's search for that. This is the one here, WordPress Social Sharing Plugin. It's a bit of a tongue twister, Sassy Social Share. Install now. Then hit activate. All right, so now we're gonna be able to go down and see that there's a social share icon here in the sidebar. Let's click on that and we'll be able to start configuring our social media sharing buttons. And of course you can use this on any site, whether it's a WordPress business site, a WordPress e-commerce site, the principles stay the same. So now if you scroll down, you'll be able to do some things to configure the look and feel of your buttons. I'll go through that in more detail in a second. But first, we're going to stick to selecting standard interface. You can change, uh, for example, the URL of the web page or enter a custom URL for the target URLs, but we're going to leave it as default. You can change the title if you want. But effectively, go down and then select the social sharing buttons that you want to display on your blog posts or your WordPress product posts. I'm just going to stick to these, for example, just remove some of these. Yep, so Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. Those are my four favorites at the moment. You can then go down and select how you want the buttons to align, whether on the left, center or right of content, and also the top or the bottom of the content. And where do you want it to be placed? For example, blog posts on your pages. So let's just select blog posts for now. I'm gonna show you in a sec also configuration for adding these to a homepage. But for now, I'm gonna leave it at that and just show you simply what we're able to do so far without going into the details of all these other configurations. So I'm just going to go up and click save. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, this plugin. I don't know why they've done that because it's actually a really good plugin. Here it is. Save changes. Now I'm just going to open up the um, my blog page. There it is. These are the ones that we've just added. And as requested, it is on the top. There it is at the top of the content, at the top of the blog content. We can change that title. We can also remove this one here by removing the enable more icon. Like so. And when I refresh that, you'll see that update. There we go. Um, you'll also notice that we've obviously got some floating icons here. Now the reason for that is, if we go to the floating interface, you'll see if you scroll down, by default they've enabled home page, posts and pages. And so what I'm going to do is just disable all of that for now. or you could simply just disable by checking this tick box over here. So that will enable you to get rid of that if you don't want that. Perfect. Let's just check the home page. Okay, brilliant. 
Now, I just want to stick on the same topic for now, standard interface. You can change the way the buttons are displayed in terms of their um, design. And you can do that here under theme selection. So you can have these round icons, which you have at the moment. You can increase or decrease the size. You can have square icons if you wanted to, or rectangle. I personally just prefer the round ones. You can also change colors, backgrounds, borders, and other positions and paddings if you so want to do that. But of course, you don't have to do that. So this, for example, is the um, standard interface theme. So anything you've applied standard interface will, will have this design applied. So now if I change that to square and save that and refresh, there we are. So that's a bit of customization you can do. Okay, now, just quickly, here's what your site will look like on mobile as well. Works perfectly fine on a mobile responsive WordPress store or e-commerce store. Now the next thing I wanna show you is back into the floating interface tab. This is if you want icons to appear on pages on your site on the left hand side like you saw before and we're going to enable that we're going to then select the social sharing platforms that we want so let's stick to those four you can change the offset so how far from the top do you want them to display how far from the left do you want them to display if you want it to the left or right, for example. Now we should be able to um, save those changes. Actually, I'm going to remove the enable more icon first, then save. Um, and one thing we've forgotten to do, of course, is where do we want them to be placed? Let's say we only want them displayed on our home page. So let's do that now, let's refresh. Go home. And there we are, here are the social icons. Now we can change the padding, so it's only 100 pixels from the top, but we can change it to say 200, so that it appears halfway down the page. And as you scroll, that's gonna stay with the user. So it's really cool, it doesn't get in the way, but it allows your users to share your content socially which is exactly what you want. On a mobile, that works a little bit differently. You're gonna have those at the bottom and they're gonna be sticky, which means they stick to the bottom. Now, of course, when you click off the home page in this instance, they're gonna disappear because we haven't enabled the placement for any other pages. We've only enabled it for the home page, like that. But if you want to, you definitely can enable it for any other pages posts, pages, etc, etc. On that note, I'm going to show you something really cool. And that is how to enable these icons on your product pages for your e-commerce store. So the thing I love to do is go back to standard interface and think about what icons do I want people to share? Um, what social platforms do I want people to share on on my e-commerce store? And usually it's um, it's Facebook, it's, um, it's WhatsApp, and it's perhaps email. And of course, I'm forgetting Instagram. Where is it? Uh, here it is, Insta. There's some of the key ones, and I'm just gonna make sure I change the order of those. So Insta first, email last. Okay, perfect. So now what I want to do is I'm gonna save that. Now, of course, that will apply anywhere where you've added the standard interface icons. I am going to go to theme selection. I am going to change it back to round to what it was previously. I much prefer that layout. But importantly, what I'm going to do now is go to the standard interface 
and I'm going to select the WooCommerce product page and then click Save Changes. So let's visit the store and hopefully we are seeing the social sharing icons on our product pages. So let's go to our products. Let's pick a random product. And there we go. Absolutely perfect. It's not getting in the way of the customer. It's not in the way of the pricing, the content. It's down here after the add to cart. And that is best practice. If you look at stores like um, eBay or Amazon, all of their stuff that could be distracting is out of the way. So now your customer can click on that and they can actually share your products socially via any one of these platforms, whether it be email. Um, so there it is. There's my email popping up there. So I can send that. Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook. And that just enables a level of viral marketing that you previously didn't have. And it's very effective for your e-com site. And there we go, just like that, they can click on the icon and share that product socially. It's as easy as that. Now, one last thing before we leave is I just want to let you know that you can actually add the ability to show how many times a particular post or page or product has been shared by enabling these boxes here. So show share counts like that or show the total number of shares like that. Now, this is a good way to add social proof. The thing is, if you do that, you're then gonna to have to go into a tab called miscellaneous. You're gonna just need your Facebook app ID and Facebook app secret. So you'll have to just go into Facebook developers. I'm not gonna cover that in this tutorial, but you'll just have to go in there. It's free, generate those keys, paste it there. Then every time someone shares your post or your product using one of the icons, you're gonna see a number pop up which shows the count for the number of times that has been done, similar to this. So that's just something I wanted to let you know of. Anyway, I hope I've been able to successfully show you how to add social sharing and social media icons onto your WordPress website. It's super effective. Go and get yourself some viral marketing. It's all free and if you have any questions or comments, ask below. Give this a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.